All right, so let's click ahead to the next node. This is a uh, villain's node facing a CBAT. Uh, and so again, let's click on GTO strategy and take a look at what, uh, what it's doing. So uh, when we first look at this, again, it looks like there's a lot of mixing going on, right? There's all these hands that are mixed. But this is where we need to be really careful and hover over and see what's going on. Because um, if you, a lot of the time, it won't be mixing. Um, it'll be selecting combos. So when you're facing a CBAT, you're getting a price to continue or not. And so the only hands that are going to be indifferent between you know playing or defending and not defending, so the only hands that are going to be indifferent between folding and playing in some way, either raising or calling, are going to be hands that are like exactly priced in. And so this should be actually very few hands. And so if we look, it's actually not indifference that we're seeing with all these, you know, red and yellow ones. It's actually picking combos. And so in particular, there's a flush draw possibility. And so 7-2, it's playing only the flush draw, All right? It's playing exactly 7-2 of diamonds um, and folding the other combos. Um, similarly, if we look at some of these even king highs, um, what it's doing is it's picking and choosing. It's folding king-10 um, of clubs and hearts, but it's playing king of clubs, 10 of diamonds. It's always playing king of diamonds, 10 of spades, or almost. Oh yeah, it's always playing, never folding it. And so actually, if you look at the fold frequency, it's either 0 or 100. And it plays all of the combos that have a backdoor draw and folds the ones that don't. Um, and... It's that simple. Um, it check raises some of them. We'll talk about raising in a second. But but it's really important to notice that this isn't actually mixing. It's picking and choosing. There's some mixing. Now you can see when we look at king of clubs, nine of diamonds, now there's mixing. right? It's folding 23% of the time and then sort of VPIP the rest. Uh, and so there is some mixing, but it sort of drops away very quickly. Now king of clubs, eight of diamonds, the slightly weaker backdoor flush draw, is now always folding. And now we can see it's only playing the king of diamonds. And so what's happening here is not that it's mixing. It's that it's picking the best combos. It's picking the backdoor flush draw. And this is a really, really common theme. And I think this is a really big source of edge that a lot of players completely neglect. Um, and that's really paying attention to backdoor flush draws. That's how GTO sort of makes a lot of its decisions. It turns out there's a lot of difference in EV uh, between the different combos. We can actually take a look at that more in detail. Um, there's a GTO strategy little section, but there's also a section for ranges. If we click on villain's range, we can actually see the EV difference between these different hands. So if we look at uh, king 10, um, if we look at king of diamonds, 10 of hearts, it's got an EV of 0.31, whereas uh, king of clubs, 10 of diamonds, has an EV of 0.13. So there's a 0.2 big blinds. I mean, that's a pretty sizable difference in edge. Um, you know, it's almost, you know, it's, it's almost half a small blind. It's, it's something to, that matters, you know, and it makes a difference. And it makes it enough to want to play the hand. Um, you know, similarly, something like uh, King 7, uh, the King of Diamonds has an EV of 0.06, whereas the other ones have 0. They just have to fold. They would be negative if you called them. Um, and so this is a really great place to find edge. Um, similarly, if we look at some of these hands, uh, some of the other kings, for instance, King 4, oh, no, that's a, back, that's a flush draw. Uh, if we look at some of the other backdoor flush draw hands, we can see here, oh, king six of hearts. Oh, that's a, well, actually, we can do that. Um, if you look at the difference between king six of hearts and king six of clubs, they both are a pair of sixes. But the EV difference with king six of hearts is actually, uh, you can see it's, it's 0.6 big blinds. It's really big. You know, these backdoor flush draws are, you know, stronger hands. We noticed, I mean, we saw that too with C-betting, that, you know, it was C-betting the Jack of Diamonds to, you know, more often than other ones. Um, and we can see that out of position, that they're just, you know, stronger hands. Um, if we look at King 9, again, um, King 9 of hearts has an EV of 0.17, whereas King 9 of, you know, spades has to fold. And so again, it's a difference of, you know, at least uh, 0.2 big blinds. Here's another one. Um, you can see King 10 of hearts has an EV difference of 0.3 uh, compared to folding. So it's actually at least 0.3 better than the other combo. Um, and so it really is a sizable difference. Oh, and here we can find King-Queen is actually playing all of the combos. And so you can actually very clearly now see the difference between a two-card backdoor flush draw and not. 
And you can see that um, King Queen of Hearts has an EV of 0.71 big blinds, and King Queen of Spades has 0.26. So it's almost a small blind. That's how big of an edge. And that's how big of an edge you're sort of missing out on when you forget to deal with backdoor flush draws. When you just play your backdoor flush draws as though they were, you know, the same other kind of hand. And so it's, it's really a great place to look to expand your game is to look to recognize backdoor flush draws better and, you know, try to use them more effectively.